Hello and greetings from Iceland. But today I am going to show you this beautiful lava waterfall. I actually shot this two days ago with my zoom lens and of course uh, I would have liked to have a drone as well. But the drone that I just bought, it turned out to have some major battery problems, so I returned it. And I just got back from Reykjavík yesterday with a new drone, upgraded model of course. And I was not willing to do the same thing as this guy or take a test flight over the new lava. But anyway, I had my zoom lens and uh, this was action, not to miss. And then I heard it in the news just a few days ago that uh, this valley can continue to accumulate the lava for maybe four or five weeks before the lava flow is going to close down the south coast road. But we have heard uh, that one before. And I somehow think that the valley will hold for uh, longer time than that. And after the lava hits the barrier, there is a natural barrier just below. And I'm linking to a recent video about the lava path. So the volcano shows no signs of uh, coming to an end. It's uh, plenty of action. And at its best, I have rarely seen so much lava coming up from there. So I think that uh, this will go on for years, like uh, many predicted in the beginning. And as for our experts, there isn't any new information out there in the moment, sadly. But I hope the footage made up for it. It's just uh, increased uh, lava flow, and yet again we see how unpredictable this volcano is. But as for the tourists, they are still even uh, more unpredictable than the volcano. You can see some of them here up on the hill in this uh, time lapse looking like uh, ants crawling around and those tourists are the lucky ones and then we have the other ones we just uh, never know what we will see next up there and this is still a very popular tourist destination not just for hikers helicopters were flying over me all the time while i was there so as for how to categorize this uh, volcanic eruption we know one thing for sure that uh, this is a tourist eruption, for sure. And that's just simple science. And since there is uh, so little information that we are getting from the scientists these days, I'm gonna skip the speculation for a while. The video says the whole story this time. But I want to mention that uh, even if I've not been so much uh, up to thing in this month, August, this has been a very active month for me. I've been shooting videos like uh, never before this summer, collecting a bunch of material for the winter and my first drone gave me some really good test footage and uh, way more of ideas and that footage and ideas will appear gradually in the coming uh, weeks and months on my channel but my next video is all about the northern lights it's a rather long but very accurate description of the conditions in Iceland and designed for those who want to see the northern lights both the tourists and professional photographers that will be online in only a few days. And then I'm on my way to a project near Reykjavík. So I can finally stop there for a few days since my last trips were very short. And I will of course use the chance to get some more footage from the volcano or how the lava is approaching the south coast road. So it's plenty to come. And the rest of this weekend will go into the new drone of course or get to know the camera in it in order to squeeze the best out of it. And uh, I admit that uh, I'm already flying in my mind. And uh, yet again, showing you how diverse and beautiful this eruption is at its uh, different stages. And of course, how small we are beside it. And uh, with that, I am sending you best regards from the Volcano Island, Iceland.